Sister wives Christine and Janelle Brown reveal. Devastating. Part of family drama after Cody splits and Janelle Brown seemingly struggles to sell late son Garrison's home, cuts price. I will explain everything. Watch this video until end. Hey lovely viewers. Welcome to my 2S Gossip channel. Sister Wives stars Christine Brown and Janelle Brown reveal the most. Devastating. Part of their family rift following their splits from ex-husband Cody Brown. It's devastating too. Have your kids have daddy issues. Christine, 52, told E. News on Thursday, October 10th. To have kids who struggle with their dad, it's really, really hard. Because I would love it if they have a good relationship with him. But I just tell them, you know, you gotta accept him where he's at and you need to love him where he's at. After fans watched Cody, 55, call out daughter Madison Brush, Nay Brown, for spreading gossip. During the October 6th episode, Janelle, 55, said that their daughter was just one example of how their children are feeling about their father. He has really distanced himself from them, she added. The former sister wives then reflected on Cody's relationship with Janelle's daughter Savannah, revealing that he hasn't seen her in a year. Janelle explained that Savannah, 19, understands that she needs to keep her relationship with her father on a superficial level and the teen has acknowledged that she's grateful to have so many older brothers to look up to amid Cody's absence. In addition to Maddie, 28, and Savannah, Janelle and Cody share kids Logan, Gabe and Hunter. They also shared son Robert Garrison, who died at the age of 25 in March after he committed suicide. Meanwhile, Christine shares kids Aspen, McKelty, Peden, Gwendolyn, Isabel and Truly with Cody. The Brown patriarch also shares one child with ex-Mary Brown and five children with his last remaining wife, Robin Brown. During the latest episode of the TLC show, Cody reflected on his estranged relationships from his adult children following his spiritual divorces. They're purposefully leaving me out of their lives to punish me for a crime I did not commit, he said in the episode, which was filmed in 2022. I am only guilty of not falling madly in love with their mothers. Also during the episode, Janelle explained that their children, specifically Maddie, had issues with Cody's lack of involvement in their grandchildren's lives. However, Cody argued that it was an unrealistic expectation for grandparents to be in the grandchildren's lives. Especially if you move your children to an entirely different coast, he continued, adding that Maddie intensified the tension between him and Janelle. Christine was the first of Cody's wives to leave their polygamous relationship in November 2021, followed by Janelle in December 2022 and Mary in January 2023. While reflecting on their lives today during the interview, Christine told the outlet that she and Janelle are currently living their best lives. It's nice to start over again in a new chapter. We're also just starting over, Christine, who married husband David Woolley in October 2023 said. Janelle then reflected on her relationship with Christine, pointing out that they remained close after their splits. She said that Christine is creating new memories with David, 60, while Janelle has a whole new life that she's creating for herself. I feel like we're more independent now than we ever were and just life's exciting Christine added. Sister Wives star Janelle Brown seems to be struggling to sell her late son Garrison Brown's home and the reality star has been forced to lower the price of the property. When Janelle, 55, listed the home for sale last month, she priced it at $425,000, but she's now lowered it by $25,100 and it's currently listed at $399,000, in touch can confirm. The Sun was the first to report the news. Garrison died at the age of 25 from an apparent self-inflicted gunshot wound on March 5th. His body was discovered in his home in Flagstaff, Arizona, which he shared with brother Gabriel Brown. Gabe, 22, was sent to check on Garrison after Janelle learned about some concerning texts sent by the former Nevada National Guard member. I want to hate you for sharing the good times. But I can't. I miss these days, read one of the texts Garrison sent in a group. Chat with several people who work with the Brown family, according to the police, per Janelle. Janelle was seemingly not a part of the group chat. In a police report obtained by InTouch at the time, Gabe revealed that Garrison 
had been struggling with mental health concerns and alcohol abuse, while Janelle stated that she wished she had gotten Garrison help before his death. However, Gabe added that he thought his brother had been doing better after he began working at the Flagstaff Medical Center. Janelle, along with several other members of the Brown family, has seemingly been struggling with Garrison's passing, and the TLC star has penned several tributes to her son via social media. Savannah Brown, Garrison's younger sister, revealed she was having a hard time coping with Garrison being gone. Two weeks ago, on Tuesday, March 5th, my older brother Garrison took his own life. He was 25, Savannah, 19, wrote via Instagram on March 19th. I'm having a hard time understanding it. But I know now, more than anything, that my brother Garrison is no longer in any more pain. On the six-month anniversary of Garrison's death, Janelle paid tribute to her son. You come up in my photo memories almost every day. Sometimes it doesn't seem like you're gone. Janelle wrote on September 5th alongside a heartbreaking image of Garrison giving her a kiss on the cheek. And then I remember I won't be getting a call or text from you in it all. Comes rushing back. I know you fought hard but in the end you just couldn't stay. I love you so much and will see you again when my journey is done. Garrison's father, Cody Brown, was estranged from Garrison when he died, but he has since opened up about his relationship with his late son. The only regret is just, take advantage of the time, Cody, 55, told people in an interview published on September 15th. I want to go out to dinner again. I want to sit down. I want to have a beer. I want Garrison to try and make me laugh because he was that way. The only regret is just, gosh, I would just do that more often. Cody also admitted that the loss of Garrison was a wake-up call to spend more time with those he loved. Your life is filled with those moments, Cody continued. I went on a quick trip with my brothers recently, and I almost didn't do it. I had something coming up that really was pressing, and I had a brother pass, and I remember having the feeling I needed to go see him beforehand. And so, I went on this trip with my brothers. I went and did it. There was other things that were pressing, and I just said to myself, what if this is the last time? Sister Wives star Robin Brown might feel the other three ladies hung her out to dry after they got through with her on Sunday night's episode of the TLC series. But fans of the show heard loud and clear that Christine Brown and Janelle Brown can't trust her. They also heard how she did something that hurt Mary. Then the viewers also found out that it seems Cody Brown perpetuates this dislike of his youngest wife by constantly throwing her in the other women's faces. Sister Wives Robin Brown painted in an awful light. Some fans say Robin Brown looked clueless and a bit like a fool, suggested the fans after watching Sunday night's episode. The editing of this Sister Wives episode had her saying she had no idea what happened. But in the following scenes, Janelle Brown, Christine Brown, and yes even Mary Brown offered the different ways she slighted them. Janelle surprised the Sister Wives viewers when she even accused Robin of betraying her. So, Fans suggest that Robin acts like a victim, but it was three against one, as the other three women seemed to set the score straight with what they had to say. Some of it was shocking, although fans surmised this was the way Robin operated. But it was still unexpected to hear it come out of the mouths of the other women. Co-wives pile up their truths about Robin. For Christine Brown, it seems like she found nothing at all redeeming about Robin Brown. There was no way she'd attempt to have a relationship with her. She said she didn't trust her, and that says a lot, as far as the Sister Wives fans are concerned. Janelle told the story of reaching out to Cody's fourth wife over the family finances a while back. She went to Robin and explained that buying the home that she intended to purchase and eventually did would soak up too much of the family's finances. The mortgage for the Coyote Pass land needed to be paid off before they could build. So, they needed all the money they could get their hands on. Janelle said she was not confrontational, and that all she did was explain the dire situation the family was in financially. But Janelle described how her youngest sister wife betrayed her. Not only did she tell Cody Brown about this conversation, but she also used Janelle's name. She told Cody she didn't want them to buy the house. Janelle was floored after she learned from Cody what she told him. 
Hurtful reveal on TLC. Mary Brown sat visiting with Robin in one clip from Sunday night's Sister Wives. The mom of one had no idea why the only co-wife he still talks to had the need to tell her something that would hurt her. Mary said that what Robin had to say, stings, she also said it was, hurtful. Plus she had no idea why Robin would tell her this. Mary learned that Isabel Brown, along with two of her siblings stopped by Robin Brown's house sometime after Christmas. The original first wife always had a close relationship with Isabel. Now she hears she was in town and didn't contact her. What's worse yet, Robin tells her this. So, it looks like all three wives had reasons to remain peeved at the youngest bride. Sister Wives Wife number four soaks up Cody's time and family finances. Robin Brown said that she felt Cody wasn't spending a lot of time with her. Christine said she doesn't trust her as Cody was at her house more than any other wife's home. But the fourth wife denied it. Fans accuse Robin Brown of once again talking out of both sides of her mouth, like the comical tweet below. Both Christine and Janelle felt that Cody put a contingency on his love for them that they wouldn't abide by. They said Cody told them if they want him to act like a husband then. Become, a better sister wife. They say he was alluding to Robin Brown. Neither will do that and it's likely a deal-breaker for Janelle, who is contemplating leaving Cody at the time Sister Wives filmed this scene. Plus, Mary is fed up with Robin pushing for Christine and Cody to fix their relationship. She can't believe that Robin just doesn't get it, it's between their shared husband and Christine. Janelle said when one wife gets the lion's share of a shared husband's time and more than her share of the finances, it makes the playing field unfair. Ultimately it makes it hard for sister wives to have a relationship with each other. Floodgates open about Robin. So, this week the floodgates opened on the sister wives show. What poured out appears to be a lot of pent up anger over Robin Brown. But TLC editing had her still going on and on about how slighted she is while presenting evidence in the next scene that may prove her wrong to fans. So, some sister. Wives fans think the TLC series did a bang-up job at discrediting the last wife standing. They put the other three wives on the screen offering evidence to back up the reasons they have for not liking the youngest wife from the sister wives family. Thanks for watching this video. What do you think about this video told on comment box and subscribe our channel.